Hey, everybody. Welcome to a, another episode of WKRP. Um, no, the lights are not out. We do pay our electric bill. Uh, we're going to explain what happens here in just a second. As you can only imagine, Rob is super excited about this episode, and the uh, he's already over there shaking his head. Um, we've got special guests today. Um, I probably should. I don't know if yeah, I should put start. the disclosure up front. Do, do you want me to? Yeah, okay. go on. All right. So today is my twenty third wedding anniversary. Today is, and my lovely guests over there. Uh, is <laughs> you can't with the cowboy hat on you guys have heard about her you've heard the you, you've heard all the stories in previous episodes uh i'd like to introduce my wife nicole stone of faultless and her lovely guest audrey uh also of faultless with the uh beautiful boa on i might say fluffy. so um I, this this episode i'm going to do something that i'm not very good at i'm going to try to let rob run the episode it's going to be a disaster no, no. i don't run you talk right. i make jokes about you that's how this works is that how that happens mm -hmm. is that why 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 did we have a, a discovery meeting and you like that was the thing that you decided like these are the rules it has been a successful formula so far i mean it has you guys are watching you're listening you're calling uh, we had a first giveaway online uh, don't forget 970-316-3162 uh, Tanya won the, uh, the last episode's trivia on there. So we've got a special guest for Tanya. We'll have a video of us presenting Tanya with her gift, uh, maybe later, later coming up. Um, we also had a recent, uh, discovery that we had our, our, our number one download was our original mullet meister episode with Tim Hines. Uh, so we had a special gift for him. You guys check us out on social media, WKRP Montrose on whatever your media's feeds are. You've been talking a lot already. I know. Well, I had to get all the stuff out of the way. The disclaimers, as they say. We don't have a disclaimer yet. All right, I'm getting to it. Hi, ladies. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having us. Hi. Your, microphone your microphone's far way too far, too far away. away. Yeah, okay. There you go. Ah. Yeah, it has to be right in your can, face. The rich, the rich, silky sounds. Can you, can you hear your voice? Is that better? Oh, there you go. Oh, Don't you like that nice better? nice voice, yeah. Audrey. I was trying. <laughs> okay. You said silky, so I was so so, silky. So, real quick, Nicole, why, do we, why are your teeth glowing, and why, why, are we, why do we have the lights out? Because I'm just a kid at heart, and I love to glow <laughs> shit up. Uh -huh. So, if you don't know that about me, that's um, why we're here, is to have some fun. So. What kind of fun? Why? I mean, again, why? There's we're wearing boas, light up cowboy hats. I've got a black. I haven't had a. I haven't seen a black light since I was like eighteen. Rob still has one in his bedroom. He's got a velvet painting with a black light. I don't understand Is it a that. Is it what? A panther. A panther. <laughs> or mushrooms. <laughs> Rob's eating in the middle of the episode. This is how not serious there are no he's rules, taking it. Clearly, right no with rules. this podcast, is that be is that because not this episode? You don't plan your day timely. None of the episodes. What? There were no rules. Well, that's with some rules. You're not allowed to eat in the middle of the episode. <laughs> okay, so the gl the glow up, Audrey. Why the why the glow? Why all the black lighting? And yeah. Stuff why like do that? you look like what, that? What are we doing? What are we doing here? What's going on? Ooh, my first thought was I'm not a stripper. It's not like a, it's not a stripper thing happening. Right. But you do dress like one. Uh, today. Oh. That was Rob. No, I just, I mean. Can I beep that out? <laughs> People can see. Right. Is this a feather a boa. Wears? Rob, Rob immediately goes, feather boa must be, you know. No. That's what I did. Ooh. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. All right. We still haven't gotten to the point. No. Why the black lights? Why the glowing lights? Oh, because we're trying to glow up Montrose. Glow up Montrose. Mm -hmm. And in what way, shape, or form does that happen? We're doing a glow golf um, fundraiser. And we're also uh, on our third annual silent disco. And that is where we're at the amphitheater just glowing it up. So this is for Faultless, right? It is for Faultless. Can you take a, just take a minute to explain to people what Faultless is? Um, um, you know. So Faultless brings light to the darkness as far as through events just as I just mentioned, that help bring um, awareness for prevention education for sexual assault and dating violence. Sorry, it hits home. 
Um, so it's just a different way to bring people out and lightheartedly bring um, awareness and education um, on these topics um, that I just mentioned, sexual assault, dating violence, consent, digital dangers. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what we do. And it's just a different approach than other nonprofits. Um, but it's a hard topic, so I feel like this is the best way to do it. Yeah, I agree. It's a, it's a great, like I said, it's the dark and the light. It is, right. yep. And it, yeah. It's okay, baby. You don't, have to, you don't have to apologize for crying. It's, Absolutely not. It's a, it's a thing. Yep. I'm, glad you, I'm glad that there's emotion there. Yeah, I'm passionate. So, um, I, don't want this, I don't want things to happen to our children. I don't <laughs> want these things to happen. I want people to start talking about it more, and this is how we do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you do a lot of, you mentioned, and, and <laughs> don't take this for not being here oh. for you. I'm, I'm, no, I'm trying no, to have no, a moment. No, no, no. But you do a lot of the communication online. So you use social media I as, do. as an opportunity for powerful. outreach. Yeah. Yes. And you've very seen a lot of response to that. Yes, we've had um, a survivor know what to do um, after they were assaulted, um, and that was from our socials. Uh, we have tons of uh, teens that watch our socials that respond to some of our stats and scavenger hunts, and, and anyway, all it, it's and I also have other um, counselors from schools reaching out to us because they're on socials and they want to see more of this conversation happen so socials can be very powerful um and yes they're hard they're hard for our kids and our teens but i just they've been, worked really well for uh faultless so at the same time that you're t that you're talking about digital safety you're trying to create an opportunity where i think that we a lot of us hope that that's the purpose of of using social media right mm -hmm. is the connection and where anonymity actually is a good thing, yes. right? So I have a moment to ask a question with the protection of anonymity mm -hmm. and be able to, you know, be, be able to feel confident that maybe I can get some help without everybody knowing my business. Mm -hmm. Is that, yeah. is that a right way to say it? Rob, I don't think I've ever heard a sincere mm from Rob. <laughs> I know. What have you done to me? <laughs> What's going on? It's okay. We'll get back to... We'll get, you'll, regularly you'll, scheduled program in a minute. We'll, get, we'll get back to the, regularly scheduled Rob in, in a moment. Me taking the piss out of your big potato yeah. What did head. you call me earlier? I. It wasn't a Muppet. And it um, wasn't... And, and it wasn't... Potato. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I, I don't remember it? what it was. Oh, I called you a pleb. A pleb. Mm -hmm. What is a pleb? Do you guys, have you guys a, ever been called a pleb? It's an insult from, you know, the old country. <laughs> is it a pleb or a plebe? Ple oh. Did see that's why you know he's from Jersey and not from Wales because he said it wrong. It's I, it's pleb. It's he plebe. Might be right. I'm right. He's uh, right. I don't. I don't believe it. I'm right. I don't believe it. So, I to 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 go back. So you know, advocacy is one part of faultless. Obviously, the biggest part. But you also need money, right? Yes. You have that's fundraising true. events. Uh, yeah. Yes. Which brings us very nicely yeah. onto your next event. This Which is the glow golf. Glow golf, right? Yes, but that, yeah. Um, I would say silent disco is probably more of what I would love to talk about. Okay. Um, because it is. Is um, that because the glow golf is like basically sold out now? No, no, <laughs> no. Um, so this is our third year of the silent disco, and we um, paired up with the uh, rec district with Youth Appreciation Day. And we have free tickets for students ages 14 to 18. And when we get, a lot of parents don't know, I get it. They don't know what it is. Um, and I know we talked about fundraising, and I know that that's important for me to talk about, but I want people to understand what we're fundraising for. Right. And that is 200 kids out at the amphitheater, three different DJs, headphones that have three different channels to those three different DJs they can pick or choose. And then we stop them in the middle of them having fun, and we have a we had a tea consent video that talks about consent and a really fun, uplifting, uh, funny. It was kind of it's funny. It's funny. Mm -hmm. And now we have, and we change out the content. We're having a bicycle one this year that we just did in uh, Ure High School um, to all the high school students uh, during Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Anyway, 
And it was so, they started laughing because it was uncomfortable, but it was, it was good. So it's powerful. And it's, it's these hard conversations that the parents can't have with their kids Mm -hmm. that myself and my team of faultless and my husband's the MC, you know, Dennis over there. Sorry. Um, (laughs) Yeah. He's not your husband in this room. (laughs) He's the button monkey. He's a button monkey. And um, so the, and we have stats that are projected onto the amphitheater. It is such an amazing way for us to spread prevention education. And, you know, I was just sharing with um, the Rabels who just opened up the Rathbone. I'm just bringing then the, the, the um, wife, I was sharing what we did, a uh, faultless to her. Peggy. Peggy, thank yeah. you. And she was just saying, like, wow, you know, it's really hard for my husband to have that. She has two boys. This is a really hard conversation for me to have with my boys, and it's mm-hmm. great that you're doing this. Or even following up, if my husband does bring it up, that there's a follow-up. And that is the power of our silent disco. Right, right, right. And it's, I mean, part of this is when you talk about young men, right? It's, it, this is prevention, Rather than cure, yes. right? You want yep. to prevent this from happening to begin with while simultaneously having, you know, a place for people to go if the worst should happen. But yes. prevention is the idea, right? It is. Educating young men as much as young women, yep. you know, to, to not... Yeah, to, you can say it. To, to not. not. Be it, yeah. to, not. To, not. To, to not. Yeah. To treat each other with yeah. respect and love. Yep. Well, while we're on the topic, though, when is the silent disco? Uh, August 16th and 17th. August 16th is uh, the adult silent disco and then the fundraiser. And then the 17th is the um, teens. Okay. And what day is the... Uh, Friday. Saturday is the teens. Okay. Saturday is the teens on the 17th. And then Friday is the 16th for the adults. So this will be the second year, right, of the adult? Third year. uh, Yeah. Second second year year of the adults. Okay. Third year of the teens. Yeah. So for those people who don't know, you, you described it briefly, but... Because it sounds like an oxymoron, right? A silent disco. But it is just super fun. <laughs> Dennis doesn't know what an oxymoron is. I, which, I mean, I know what a moron I mean, I know you know, know what, what a moron, moron is. is. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's basic. I mean, and obviously there's going to be um, adult beverages, right? Yes. At the adult. So you just go listen to music, have fun, dancing in the park, have a few drinks, raise some money for a good cause. Yes. Right? Lots of glow. Yeah. Everything's glowing. Lots of this. Lots of this stuff. Lots of this. Feather, and more this year than ever, be- and, than ever before. Yeah. And we a lot encourage of laughing. Lot, yeah. It's so fun. So, but you've done a lot of work in the community as well to start creating some community community relationships. You mentioned the Rathbone. I'm wearing the hat mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. So, Jay, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> anyway. The you had to Rathbone, pay for that hat, didn't yeah, you? I did have to pay for the hat. <laughs> yeah, so that's we should disclose that, right? I'm not a, uh, I'm not being paid by Rathbone to uh, mention we're not, their name. We're not against taking their money, though. Well, Clay, absolutely, Jay, if you're listening. Yeah. Um, so, but you've already started creating some relationships uh, with the Bridges, with the Rathbone, for people that can come from out of town to come to the disco, mm-hmm. and be able to stay here, be responsible, stay, a uh, have a good time. Yeah, we yep. got a twenty percent discount on the rooms at the new Rathbone. But yep. there are only. There are 17 rooms, I think, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So first come, first serve. So get your tickets, get your room discounts yeah, now. Yeah, like the room discounts, we let me know. We need to glow up downtown because the Rathbone's in downtown yeah. now. We need to glow up, you know, Main Street right after the uh, right after the disco, or maybe right before. Have a little uh, back and forth. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> so I want to, you know, we we not only because you're my lovely wife and it is our anniversary. We don't usually let people come on and just talk about their their initiatives and their things like that. Mm-hmm. We try to we try to make it tie it back in a little bit to Montrose and the community. And I thought what might be interesting is to talk about like, you know, this is a whole generation. we're in a generation, we're the first generations to have phones, our generation, like mobile phones, walk around with. That quickly became this is next gen. Rob is already. You're not old enough. I'll We're not. You, you and the, I are let, not in the same generation. Rob, let the okay. adults talk real quick, and this then is, we can come back when the. This when is the why kids, this works because right, yeah. you're the old timer. Yeah, it is. So, but now kids have computers in their pockets. They have access to the whole world. They can, you know. When we were young, if we wanted something to eat and it wasn't in the refrigerator, like the best opportunity was to like get on a bike and go down to a corner store or something like that. Now you can order food. 
you know, from your favorite restaurant directly to your house. Rob is just loving this. Well, I mean, so you the, sound like you grew up in the 40s. <laughs> You're talking about taking bike to the corner store. How old are you? The 40s. Rob, that would be 70s, 80s, 90s. I still see kids so, riding their bikes but, to the corner store. Yeah. Stores. Easy does it over there, bearded one. Um, hey, so, Audrey, just a little FYI. Oh, that's right. The, the dynamic thing here is we gang up on Dennis. Yeah. You're not supposed to defend me in no. any way, shape, or form. I don't know if you got the memo before this. Yeah. Apparently okay. not. No. Um, <laughs> I'm on board now, though. Okay. You are? All right. You're on Team, you're on team Rob? Yeah. Well, it's not yeah. Team Rob. It's, it's not Team Dennis. It's okay. not, not you know Team I mean? Dennis. That's the T-shirt that we should get you. Yeah. You're on not Team Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> or the one I said earlier, which is I just want a WKRP branded I'm with stupid t-shirt. I did make that t-shirt already ready for you. Okay. Good. I said, but it says I'm with potato. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so where I was going with this is if you, if you took today, right. But you had your childhood from the past, what would you be doing today at 14, 15, 16 years old in Montrose? Like what would your, what would your weekend look like? What would you be looking forward to on the weekend? And I guess I'll get it started because since it's my question, maybe help you out. When we were that age and, you know, when Rob was in Jersey, we had dance clubs, right, that you could go to. That and that was skating. kind of, yeah, there was, ro there was roller skating rinks. Oh, Lord. With my glow sticks. Rob, what did, what did you do in, I mean, Wales? <laughs> what did you do in, in, in North Wales when you were? None of this is, this is only funny to you. It's not it's supposed well, to be funny. Jersey it was a question. Thing, like, what do you, you know? Do? I'm not from North Wales. Right, you're I'm from, from Jersey, South Wales. You're from Jersey. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know. I'd just be probably just running around the streets, kicking a football, kicking a, a foot football, kicking a can around not, the street. Not your, not your stupid egg shaped ball. Right, a ball. That's it. At fourteen, that was all you were doing. Kind of causing a little. Okay, bit so of Rob didn't maybe. have a social life. The rest no, of us with a group of people, with a group of friends. <laughs> I just want to quickly though ask. Because, Dennis, what would you be doing at 14 in Montrose? Right. That's kind of the thing. Well, but you're not from Montrose, and neither are you, Nicole. Audrey? I am from Montrose. You uh -huh. are. Movie, you got you to come, come up closer. All there right. we go. I'm trying to lean into the couch. Yeah. So um, you're, you're our second local. Everyone else has been from somewhere that's else. That's true. If I was 14, I was probably stoned, drunk, or high on something else. Uh-oh. So you were partying, partying. Not I was that it, definitely partying. I should, have, I should have qualified that. I was also... Uh, you know, somewhere around that age, I discovered weed at that point. And so I was definitely smoking from time to time. I think we can talk about that. That's not, oh, a, no, that's not a, yeah, no, we can't. There's no, there's no can't. They just took a, this took a, be vulnerable, took a, <laughs> be real. But it was a lot, a lot harder real. drugs than pot, but this just took yeah. a turn. I'm like running around the streets playing football <laughs> and you're <laughs> over there. I don't know doing more taking well, uh -huh. kinds of stuff. But the point was... I had I, a fake ID at 14. Oh, there you go. There you but go. But I would also... I was riding four-wheelers. You know what I mean? I, I, I lived in Montreux. I said four-wheelers. Yeah. I think... I, so the moral of the story was I found... If I didn't have something to do, then I found something to do. Mm -hmm. And not always was the things that I was finding to do yep. better than the things that somebody else could have provided for me to do. Is that kind of like... That's kind of where I was going. I had such an innocent childhood compared to all three of you. Well, I mean, it shows, <laughs> Rob. I mean. Literally criminal There's behavior some... from all three of you. What? Yeah. I don't okay. know. I never, uh, I never went to jail. So, I mean, how, I crimi how criminal was it? <laughs> I did too. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. At 14. <laughs> no, she didn't. It was, I mean, maybe. Kind of petty. It was for running away. I ran away all the time. Oh. At one point, I got arrested for it. So it was pretty, I guess it was hardcore. We yeah. have discovered so much about you in one minute. Well, well I, I I got kicked out of my house and then picked up and arrested and taken to a halfway house because my mom said, well, the, the officer found me down the street. My mom kicked me out of the house. Officer found me down the street. I was, I was like, fine, took my stuff. I'm, I'm out. This was 16. I was 16 years old. And um, the officer picked me up. He asked, are you Dennis? And I said, yeah. He said, well, I need you to come with me. I said, Okay, got in the car. He took me back home. Officer knocked on the door, and the uh, my mom came to answer the door, and and the officer said, you know, we found your son. He was down the street, blah blah blah, and she goes, no, no, no you don't understand. You need to take him wherever you take kids that don't have a home. 
And that was, that was a major eye opener for me at 16. I went to a halfway house and, uh, and it was, uh, that was a wake up call, but that was the only time I guess I'd been arrested. That's the only time I've ever been picked up by a cop or an officer. You're making this very difficult for me to take the piss out of you. I know. You're yeah. trying, like, there's no opportunities <laughs> yeah. for you today on this no. episode. I'm not like, enjoying this. You're not. No. You're not having a good time, no. are you? Should we go back to, well, I was trying to create an opportunity to talk <laughs> about, like, in Montrose, um, they're starting to be, thank you for creating more opportunities, the Youth Appreciation Day, the disco. Um, well, your also, Glow Golf, kids can come and play in the, yes. in the Glow Golf. Yeah. We just don't have any kids signed up right we now. We don't have any kids signed up. Um, but you're creating a lot of things for kids to do. And that was kind of my point. Like we, and we had so many things that we used to do that now like the phones have kind of like substituted and stepped in like the idea of bike, like everybody got together on their, their bikes and, you know, ran off and ran around the neighborhoods until the streetlights came on. And then this is one of, this is turning into one of those old man rants about kids <laughs> and their phones. Yeah. Okay. Well, Back I mean, in my a, day, but it's an important thing. It's the first time this generation has had to deal with this, both a parents like trying to figure it out. And kids having access to things that they never had access before. I mean, Rob, you and I could have been friends, you know, in high school because you would have been across the pond. When you were in high in school, Jersey. I was in diapers. Is that right? I don't think so. I'm not that. I mean, <laughs> I'm 65. You're 48. That's not that far away. Only one of those numbers is probably true okay that's accurate rob just admitted he's 48 years old so you <laughs> may telling, have so he's you, been telling everybody he's been a different age this whole time so. so this is what happens you see this is why this is not like a traditional podcast where right. the guests are really important it's nice to have you but for the most part it's us two bickering you're you're the like side a, the like an like an old yeah. married couple yes um okay well let's talk about that we're, we're all, three of us in this room are married one of us only has a work wife. So, but you two seem to figure out that you're on the same wavelength. And, and you guys can't see this, but, or actually maybe you can. So Nicole's over there and Rob's over yeah, here. Yeah, move your head so people can yeah. see. There you go. Yeah. And uh, these two often end up on the same way of responding to my ridiculousness. Is that the safe way of saying well, it? Well, I think that the, the reason for that is you're very, very easy to figure out. You're not, a, that, you're not necessarily a complex you're character. Not, yeah, you're not complicated. No. Is that, is that the case, honey? I would agree with that. Oh. I'm not complicated. No. Not really. You just want to be loved. Oh. Yeah. You guys just... You're simple. You are simple. I think simplicity is a great value. Audrey, we've discussed this. Oh, dang it. <laughs> we've discussed the supporting Dennis thing. <laughs> well, now I'm, I'm completely confused. Do you think men think that they're more complicated than they are? You're confused. Yeah. Don't um, overthink it. Don't you overthink hurt, you'll it. You'll hurt yourself. All right, fine. You'll hurt yourself. I do smell s toast. What does that mean? Well, you're having a stroke, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, Rob, take over. Please. No, no, no. Where this was is, this headed? This is your thing. Well, I know. You like to make fun of the fact that I try to come with content and come with conversations. And then, Why are I you wanna, pointing over there? I'm wanna, talking to you. I wanna, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm done with that. Okay. I want to... Audrey's from Montrose, right? Yeah. I am from Montrose. So... Tell us a little bit about, you know, how you feel like this place is changing. Because this is what we talk about a lot, right? I've been here eight years. And Montrose has changed a lot. And it's heading in what I think is the right direction. But what's your perspective, seeing as you've, you're from here? And have you spent your whole life here? Or have you I've moved around left and few, come back? Yeah, a few okay. times. Um, I think it's, it's a lot better than it used to be. Um, there's obviously more for teens to do. There should be even more. Um. The community growth is huge. I know when my mom, she used to try to do, I don't know, back when, what was the thing on Thursdays that Montrose used to do? It was like every Thursday. Oh. I'm yelling now, huh? Hmm. No, 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 no. Didn't they, it was, are you oh, thinking yeah. of Main in Main, Motion? Main, Main in Motion, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did Think you ever experience that, Dennis? Yeah, well, Main in Motion was great mm -hmm. for for quite a while, actually. It was, why, I, I, do you know why it went away? Well, I think, so I'm going to speak out of, you know, out of context, maybe. I don't know. It's, um, I think that there was a situation where um, <laughs> I 
it's going to be one of those days. Rob, Rob finds a way to make me say the thing that he's thinking so that all of you can get angry at me. So I'm going to go ahead and say it. Yeah, what's the, yeah go um, So I think what happened was is, you know, sometimes as parents, you get a little, little lax on, you know, the opportunity that you feel like it's safe. The streets are co- closed off and the kids start running around. Mm-hmm. And so um, some of that turned into some interactions, I think, with some of the business owners that then made it, you know, not feel great for the business owners that were downtown. Um, so who are you blaming? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, it's either <laughs> crappy parents. It's either be more responsible with, you know, knowing that like you got to keep an eye on your kids, but also then I'm going to blame the business owners a little bit and like, Hey, we're a community and it's okay for you to step up and be like, Hey, you know what? If you're going to be in here, you need to behave. You know, or you need to go back outside or you need to go find something else to do. Um, All right. So the takeaway is if you're a parent. Right. Or a business owner. Uh Uh-huh. Do you remain in motion? Sure. Which doesn't exist anymore. They they can call in and, I mean, you're blaming them. Right. For killing something that was really great here. What's what's the number for them to call in? 970. See see how he did that? See how he did that? 970-316-3162. Go ahead. If you're angry that I Leave said that, Dennis if you have an a, angry voicemail, because yeah, okay, he's yeah. blaming you yeah, yeah. for killing Maine in motion. Yeah, I don't feel like that's exactly what I said. Well, but, there you know. was Rock the Block recently. Oh, that's yeah. By Habitat for Humanity. Yeah. I heard that was really amazing. By that happened way. right over here, right? That's, that's in the alleyway. No, no, no. It was, it was, oh, no. It was Block of Main kinda, Street. It, oh, yeah, okay. It, yeah, it rocked Main Street. Mm-hmm. What's going on in the alleyway? Across the way that they were going to do like the murals and everything like that. They had the food trucks and all yeah, that over there. Yeah, they're still doing that. That's okay. a regular thing. But that's thing not now. Rock the Block. That's something no, else. No, no. Food truck. That's huge. Friday, yeah. isn't it? That's, it. that's Dart. Mm-hmm. Monster. <laughs> yep. That's coming up. I don't okay. know. What day is it today? Wednesday? It's, well, you know, time is relative. It's that's our cool. anniversary. It's our anniversary. <laughs> okay, good. Well, that, right. that'll, that'll help everybody. Did you, just, <laughs> did you just break open a drink for our anniversary? Yeah, what, what do you nice have Nice It's a Mai Tai. Oh. And she's got it in her, her special pimp yeah. cup that I got her. It's 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's, I mean. Yeah. Um, and isn't this the time you're supposed yeah. to? Yeah. No, if you're a golfer, you're used to it's this. It's 5 o'clock right. somewhere, so, right? Right. By the way, when I was 14, I was playing a lot of golf. There we I go. I was playing a lot of golf. Right. So, hanging out with the boys. Doing something positive. You were, yeah. you were kicking footballs. She was playing golf. Right. You know. We completely cut you, I think. Completely what? cut Audrey off. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, you were Sorry. talking about main emotion. Main right? emotion. That was okay, something me, that was let good me, let me just, let and the just, growth of the community. I just, I remember too, before main in motion, we had a moonlight, was it Moonlight Madness? Mm-mm. Where they had these little coupons you could fill out. Of course, we always took like a stack of them and you write your name on it and then they would, it was like a raffle and you'd win, you'd win money to spend at the businesses. Right. Montrose Bucks. Montrose Bucks. Montrose Bucks. Montrose Bucks. But it was called like Moonlight Madness. Or oh, yeah? Never like even. That. When was this? Rob, you had an Back idea. I was a teenager. Okay. Yeah. But what, I mean, what, what, How old what, are you? what was it? <laughs> yeah, that sounds... Uh, Moonlight Madness? Let's answer her question first. No. You, Audrey, <laughs> you don't have to answer no, what, that question. What, what was it? Was it just businesses open on full moons or something? <laughs> no. Oh. I, don't, I think it happened once a year. It was, it was only like once a year. And it was a dance. And ah, back see? when dances were really popular, mm. so mm-hmm. that what's the the little square area where they have the um, the farmers markets where it was Centennial Plaza. Yes, yeah, Centennial oh. Plaza. A whole bunch of teens dancing into the night. Well, that's what the that's what the um, silent disco yeah. is. Mm-hmm. Less uh, controlled and less <laughs> less, less silent. I'm wait, sure. wait, which one's less controlled? The silent disco or no, the no. Moonlight Madness? Moonlight Madness. Okay. Well, can you just I mean, she was there at Moonlight Madness. Yeah. She's already told us what she used to get up to when she was 14. Right. So clearly <laughs> Moonlight would it was madness. <laughs> right. With 14-year-olds doing Yeah, I don't I don't think doing. Rob is being honest with the fact that he was kicking a football around. Have you ever seen this guy drink? He drinks like a fish. So I, I got a feeling there were some, there was some, uh, no, nope, I was a good kid. Boone's Boone's, you know, not at 14, at 16 maybe, but that's only two years away from the legal <laughs> drinking age. Right. 
Okay. Are you judging us? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind being judged. That's okay. Yeah. I don't either. I don't either. I don't either. Obvi- obviously, away. I don't mind being judged. I invite people to call the phone number and you know tell me what they think about me. Yeah. Which a lot more of you are doing lately, and we really appreciate it. So thank you for that. But let's have a few more angry ones. Yeah, well, the yeah. nice ones are great, but they're not nearly as fun as somebody calling up irate about something. Have there been angry ones? No, no. there hasn't been. One. I and want some. I've never seen somebody more disappointed. This actually happened today. We were, I was playing messages uh, that people finally have started calling into the phone number and they had different things to say, but they were all positive. Yeah. And Rob seemed so disappointed because <laughs> I was playing them over the speakerphone and Rob was just like, oh. wah, wah, wah. And I was re- just, I'm going to remedy that. I'll you're going to remedy that? Yeah. All right. Don't make promises voice. you can't keep. Like, if somebody, if somebody really wants to rant and, and promise me, I, I promise you, I will save it and we will play it live. Yeah. So. And then we'll argue back with you. That's okay. much more going to be much more fun. That's fine. That's You'll fine. You'll argue with them um, live, or well, no, no, I guess no, we can't no, argue no. with them. No, no I, I'll just refute all of their points and then not let them call back in. <laughs> okay, here's I'm going to thank you, Audrey. I appreciate the segue. I really want to do a live event, both in person and actually streaming it live. And Captain Grumpy Pants over there does not want us to do one live. So I would love to hear, an, you know, when That's we... not what I said. Uh, when we post this on Facebook, um, which we'll do it in the Montrose Message Group, uh, but when we post it on there, if you guys have got some ideas of where we could do a live event uh, and, and do a live streaming, pressure Captain Grumpy Pants over Who's there. Who's going to want to come and watch this stupid... <laughs> us. <laughs> Can Listen I, to this bickering right. lie. I mean, I think... Grumpy I, cat? You know that grumpy cat? That yeah, that, don't do you talk need, shit about Grumpy Cat. I need to do a little like uh-huh. image over overlay on his face over there. That. You leave that cat alone. <laughs> well, you are like, a big cat fan, so you're yeah. going to immediately like oh, start to come I, to the I'm defense. an animal so lover. See. You are an animal lover. Whenever he gets in that pissed off stage, you can just Grumpy Cat face <laughs> over his. He's making it right now. No, you guys can see it. Leave tell me he doesn't look like. You guys leave a message and tell me that he doesn't look like the Grumpy Cat. Look at the camera, Rob. Why are you okay? There you go. <laughs> All right, well, we're coming to the end of the episode. What have we covered? We've covered the glow golf. We've covered the silent disco. We've covered that three out of four of us have a criminal background. Um, I don't know if that helped anything other than prove it. Sound pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, feel like Rob doesn't, <laughs> Super cool. doesn't tell the truth. <laughs> Um, we've, we've done an entire episode in blacklight and, uh, oh, it shows, I know what we haven't done. What? Painted a big penis on Dennis's face <laughs> or something. Right. That's the whole point of the black lights, isn't it? Well, I think Rob just pointed out the whole reason that we have faultless is that we right. need better men to lead men yes. <laughs> and not draw, you know, large phallic symbols on other people's faces. Um, Draw something on his face. Go ahead. Come on, you, you did you bring the paint? Did you bring the paint? I brought the pencils. Uh, yep. Okay, sure well, did. let's do it. Um, You're going to make it happen? Make Rob's got to fill the airspace. Do you make the anglerfish work, do you think, for Rob to wear? I'll wear that. All right, I I'll, throw, you, I'll throw it over I to him. I knew you would. But, yeah. you know. It doesn't, the light's not working, though. <clears throat> All right, here you go. You ready? There you go. Oh, he dropped it. Maybe that goes to show. It. That goes he, to he show that he can. He was really playing football. Back yeah, exactly. Time. He was really only using his feet. Different kind of football. Yeah. <laughs> There's no. Yeah, it doesn't. All right. So work, who's does it? who's painting my face? You paint my face. I'll come it's, paint your face. Okay. It's your anniversary. Audrey, you've got to. You and Rob have to fill the airspace while she's painting my face. Ugh, okay. Wow. All right, make sure you take the headphones Ugh. off before that you was, stand up. That would probably help. Is Nicole. This sweaty. It's not sweaty. Oh, there you go. He does look like we need to get him. <laughs> it need it really needs it really needs the light. <laughs> it does need. Hold on, I can fix that. Yeah, hold on, we can fix that. Okay, there we go. Where is the? So this is one of Dennis's well, many costumes. I don't know if you want to tell me costumes. Go ahead. Talk. Yeah, talk about costumes. At the. Uh, what should you? Yeah, how should you get dressed up for the for the uh, disco, Audrey? How what? How should you get dressed up for the disco? <laughs> Uh, any way you want to. Well, but I mean, like... Give us some thoughts. Yeah, What's you got any ideas here? and costumes for the disco? Oh, there we go. Here we go. I could just pull some off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's better. You know, Rob, that's not good for you. that you right, get that, 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 get that fits, light out of my face. <laughs> So that, uncomfortable. That, that fits me super easy. I don't know why you're having such a hard time putting it on. For, that, for somebody yeah. who always says, I have such a big noggin. All right, here we go. Face painting. All right. All right. Here we go. So yes, Audrey, tell us. Give us some ideas of I what people some can do. Um <laughs> anything, right? 
Yeah, disc. I mean, you can but wear disco stuff. You can wear glow in the dark. Glow in the it's dark. Dark. With some glowy stuff. And how many um, how many people can you accommodate at the silent disco? That's a that's a Nicole question. Quite a few. How many people can fit in that? Well, it's at the amphitheater, right? Yeah, it's at the amphitheater. So there's no. Um, we have 250 headphones this year. Oh. Ah, so limited by headphones. Oh, Hang on. This year. Right. Yes. This year. That's an excellent point. So there's only, you know, once we once we sell out, we sold out. Um, remind me of the oh. dates again. The seventeenth. The sixteenth <laughs> is the adult silent disco, okay. and the seventeenth is the. I don't. I don't know. Like you can see gone. it. <laughs> and how much are tickets? Why can't I hear? Uh, they are forty dollars. Okay. Teen, um, teen is free. Right. Yeah, teens are free. Teens are free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there will be alcohol for sale. Yes. yes. What kind? All Where is kinds. it coming from? Yep. Do you have a bar essentially? We have a glow up bar. Do we have a bartender? We have bartenders. Yep. Bartenders. Yep. yep plural. And there and there are. Um, for best glow outfits. Prizes. Oh. Prizes, yeah. as always. We should have a special oh. drink, too, that's... that's um, mm-hmm. How about yeah, something glow in the yeah, dark? Someone yeah, someone should so that, a special drink. That's Nick, a good... <laughs> Nick, do you know Nick? Nick Paulus? Yeah. yeah. He can... I bet he could come up with a fancy yeah. glow in the dark cocktail. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, we've got some great... Um, we, we've got some great libation providers mm-hmm. in the region. Would you care to name a couple of them? I mean, Storm King mm-hmm. is a good one. Uh, Pomona is an, another great one. Yep. And uh, Shelter Shelters. Distillery. Yep. Mm-hmm. That just would, it would be really started. cool if one of them came up with like a custom silent disco canned drink that we could sell. Yes, at, it would. At the disco. That would be fun. Do you have? Like I can see like a hazy IPA type of thing or a, a juicy, fruity, disco-y thing. Um I, it's it's. I didn't think it would be so difficult for me to multitask while being, you know, Painting. face painted. Um, but it's not. It's not as easy as I thought. Oh, I think right. you're doing a great job. Eye. Yeah. What are you actually doing to him? Just glowing him up. Glowing him up. Yeah. I'm trying to. I mean, the green works job. well. By the way, you we have kinda... professionals. It doesn't look like a the penis. Pros are at the <laughs> disco and the um, no. glow ball. I'm quite disappointed. Thanks. It's a, uh, it's a good thing that this isn't actually on the airwaves because the, the number of times, what is the limit that you can say? Penis. On, t- <laughs> <laughs> on radio. Is there, is there a know. limit? That's why we're doing this. How many times in a movie before it's an NC-17 rating? Is that, is that a number? Is that no, a thing? I don't think that's a thing. I think you should wear that more often, Rob. It's a very it's good. It's good with his beard. It's really good with your beard. Yeah. If we could get the little light on, then yeah. it would w- then it would work great. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's, we'll figure out the light. Yeah, something's going on there. So get the black light, and don't you use the black light now, and it'll oh yeah blow you up. Well, I got it properly. I have, I have to. Oh, my heart's beautiful. Nicole, what were you saying about um, the pros? I started oh, talking about it. Yeah, we have so. um, some teens that are very. Uh, it's be their third year of doing the uh, face painting. So they will be at the Silent Disco, and that's cool. That doesn't work. Give me that. Um, I, give me that. I can't give it to you. The, the, the cord's not long. Oh. And we also have, at Glow Golf, we have Cologne Ink Designs, um, a tattoo artist that is going to be doing some ink, some uh, Inking face, people, inking people up with paint. temporary face, yes, glow-in-the-dark face cool. paint. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right, ladies. Well, thank you so much. For coming on the show. We appreciate it. Happy anniversary, honey. Happy anniversary. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thanks Audrey, us. thank you for everything that you do for Faultless. Uh, of we're so excited that you're part of the organization and all the things that you've done so far. You've, you've, uh, you've done a lot, actually. Yep. You just had a really big help with the, um, we didn't even talk about this, the, um, the art supplies. Yep. Mm-hmm. The Target. F- from Target for Dolphin House. That so, was Casey at Target. She's great. Yeah. So, but you, you started the conversation, you asked, did the ask and, and tar- thank you very much to our regional target for yeah. coming through. Do you guys want to talk about what real quick before we go on that note, what that one last thing is? Cause that's really, I, I, I have a very uh, fond attachment to that particular program that you guys do. Yeah. So we provide healing um, bundles of art supplies for all the children that come through and teens um, that come through the dolphin house. So whenever 
Um, I don't know if anybody knows what the Dolphin House is. I hope that you can get Michelle on here, by the way. And um, But it's an advocacy center that whenever a child is, or a teen, it's basically from the time they can talk and up, that they come into the Dolphin House instead of the police department, and they um, uh, have a testimony. They go into a house that has a, a stuffed animal, a blanket. Um, it's warm. It's 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 because it's uncomfortable for everybody um but it's um it's a space that's safe and not cold like the police department but they provide um all the legal stuff all the victim at um from getting the rape kit paid for they they sit the parents down in one room and the child goes up to the to the top and um that's where they do an investigation and they have a, a professional that walks the child through it, through art, through through drawing, by the way, which is really fascinating. Um, so those women are badasses, I'm just saying. Those women are badasses. And so we we now provide a bag that says faultless to the, ch- to the child or teen. And inside are art, healing bundles of art. And we've provided, provided over 300 of these in two and three years. So um, and, a lot. And you have, you have teens from the high school that are actually volunteer for the organization. Um, They help put those packages, those bags together. Yeah. And they also do our socials. They do your social medias. Yep. So, yep. They're trying to reach their own, their, their peers. So they do the socials. I don't do, I I put those stupid videos in every now and then, but cause I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but, um, but they, (laughs) but they do a great job. And, um, so it it is a um, community effort for sure. Um, from, Everybody that wants to see the change. So we don't, I don't normally do this, but I'm, I'll, I'll break the rules a little bit again for you. I, I know that you're always looking for volunteers to come help with the events yes. as well. Um, you've got a link that you can send out. We can probably put that in the, the episode notes for people to volunteer um, because it takes great. It, and Audrey, I think this is where you were going earlier. It takes a lot of the community to come together to make some of these things happen. Definitely. And so from the other businesses working together, the nonprofits working together, Um, people volunteering their time, people coming in and and doing things um, specifically for our youth in the area. Um, It's, it's a great, it's a great thing that you're both doing. Thank you for being here. Uh, We appreciate it. Rob, anything you want to add? No, no. I think you covered it. I I want to add, thank you, Rob, because you've been there from the get go as well. That's that's true. Thank you. I just want to make sure I, you know, that is a reoccur- well, that is a reoccurring theme on this show that everybody comes on and thanks Rob because he's always around doing stuff for people. <laughs> oh, stop. Thank you, Rob, that for is, always being oh, around stop and doing it. things for people. It, no, don't, don't stop, really. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, why do you think we curate these guests? Yeah, it is. We, <laughs> that's, I never thought about that. He does, he does seem to be more interested in people that he knows that he's done nice things for. Uh, being That's on the show. <laughs> I feel like that might be a little truth there. Who would you pick if you did the opposite? I, I don't do nearly as many nice things as Rob does. Yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a very, I don't. I'm, He's not a nice guy. I'm not a nice guy. I'm honesty. really not. I'm, um, I, you know, I look like a big fat teddy bear, but I'm actually, yeah. I'm not a very nice guy. No, that's not true. Um, you see, you're making me break protocol now. Right? <laughs> Did you guys like yeah. that? Yeah. Job, All right, listen, w, <laughs> WKRP Montrose, go check out Faultless. Do not miss the silent disco this year. I promise it's a party that you're going to want to go to. Um, you may or may not have the opportunity to do glow golf, but if you are, think uh, uh, Top Golf meets Putt Putt meets Silent Disco. Not really, because it ain't going to be that quiet. Sorry to the people at the bridges, but thank you for having us. We also didn't mention that's where it was at. Yeah. Um, Eric at Bridges. And, and Rob, thank you for all that you do in the community. I mean that, honestly. Ah, get out of here. You do, I really do. Get I really do mean here. that. And Audrey and Nicole, thank you very much. Uh, you guys have a great day. We'll see you soon. WKRP, Montrose.